Hey everybody, Matthew of Mr. Domestic. In this video, I am going to show you how to do this awesome, super cool, very cozy basket weave stitch for crochet. Essentially, it's double crochet done in a certain way that makes it look like it's going in two different directions. Mind blown once I figured it out and I can't wait to share it with you. So if that's what you're here to learn, make sure to subscribe to my channel and then thumbs up if you like this and then laugh with me and have some fun. Now let's get over to here to do some crochet. <laughs> so I got this cool yarn from uh, Premier Yarns and it's everyday worsted, anti-pilling acrylic. I did this much and this is three skeins of this yarn so definitely this stitch eats up yarn but whoa is this going to be amazing whenever i'm done honestly i could have called it a day with this and made a scarf but instead of that i'm making a afghan for my daughter helena so let's get into it the yarn suggests if you want to use this yarn that either do five millimeter or five and a half. So I did five and a half right here. Let's pull it out of the center. Woo! <laughs> Boom, there we go. Now fast forward so you don't have to see this part. So, it's going to start just like you would if you've done double crochet, any kind of row crochet with double crochet. So I'm gonna start with my beginner knot and I am going to chain in fours. You can make the chain in any duration that you want to but I started out with fours just to keep it simple and this will make more sense once I get going. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that is 16, and this will have it looking different on this end than this end. If you want these two ends to be similar, then do four more. One, two, three, four. So from here, I'm gonna go up three, start that first double crochet. One, two, three. And then start my first double crochet in the third loop. One, two, three here and then yarn over one pull through two yarn over pull through two that first one is always kind of funny and then we're just going to continue going into that top of the loop yarn over go through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and essentially we're going to do double crochets through the entire length of this I'll do one more in real time and then fast forward. So I'm yarning over, going in the next hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'll keep going. So now that I am done with this lovely ooh -la, la row of double crochets, I'm gonna go the other direction, and this is what starts the basket weave. Essentially, instead of going into any of these top loops here, we're going to go either behind or in front of this post. They're called front post and back post, but I'll use lay language in case this is new for some of y'all. So to start this out, I'm going to chain two. It's different than the first one where I chain three. Here, I'm gonna chain two, one, two and then I'm going to start a double crochet so yarn over like this and then I'm going to start this so going in front see pulled it out there yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so now I'm going to continue down this row and I've done one so I'm going to do three more and I've yarned over go the front yarn over pull through yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I've done two, I've got two more. Yarn over, going through the front, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more. Yarn over, 
going through the front, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so this is how the pattern is. And now, after I do this next one, you're gonna start to see the pattern. It's gonna blow your mind if you've never seen it before. So I'm yarning over, and instead of going in the front of the post, I'm going behind. So see how I'm going behind, like so. Yarn over, pull through. See, got yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, right? So I've got three more to go through. Yarn over, going from behind. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And I'm gonna continue this pattern to the end. I have two more going in the back and then I'll go back to the front and I'll do that until I go to the end. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I have one more, which is that original chain right here. Instead of doing a double crochet, we're gonna do something called a half double, which kind of starts like a double crochet, but it ends different. So yarn over. Instead of pulling, going in one of the chains, I just go like it's a post. It's easier for me and I don't have to think. So I'll pull this through like this. So there's three like this. Then yarn over and go through all three. And that is called a half double and I'll flip it back. But look at this pattern starting. This is so cool. Like so. And so now I'm gonna head back this direction going the same pattern. And then after that, we're gonna start going the opposite direction that we went in the first place. So I'm going to start here and get you going. Chain two, see? Then yarn over. This one went behind. So I'm going to go back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through. See how it's continuing this? They look like they're going opposite directions, folks. Yarn over, go behind, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more. And I'm going to continue this until I get to the end, and then I'll show you how I switch it. Okay, so I have one more left, but look at that. See how it's starting to look like it's going two different directions? Going the next row, it's going to start to look like it's woven. So I've done all of these, I have one more. And once again, for me, instead of going through just one loop, I'm going through this as if it's a post. And this is a half double again. So it starts out like a double crochet, but instead of going yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, you go yarn over, pull through all of them. And that just makes the turn a lot tighter. And now I'm going to flip it and chain two. And I'm just gonna get you going on how to change it up. And then from there, you'll know how to do it. So I'm gonna start a double crochet right here. These, since they're going vertical, this one, if I was going this direction, would be through the front. So instead of going through the front, I'm going through the back. And this starts the weaving. So see, I'm going to the back. Yarn over, go back post. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Back post. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then one more. Like so. And I'll do some of this in fast forward, but the first thing, before I did that was to show you two things. See how these two are the same direction? If that's not important to you, don't worry about it. And then you can play with this. Once you get to know the stitch, if you wanted to keep going to where this, you go through the front post and this the back post to make this more square or different, there are a lot of variations you can do with this one stitch. But for me, I'm just going one way this way, this way, and then I'll switch. So every time I get back to the original one, I'll switch it. I'm gonna continue and fast forward. And then from there, you know how to do this basket weave stitch. Yeah, yeah.
So now you can do this needle mosquito basket weave stitch. I love it. Uh, to date, it's my favorite stitch. I can't wait to play with like different lengths of the weave, going further than four, all of the different applications of this stitch. I hope you enjoyed this video and will do this stitch with me and make all the fun things. If you enjoyed it, learned something, got a laugh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to keep it positive. Mr. Domestic out.